The southern city of Bengaluru has received more than 400 times the amount of rain it usually does in November. Flooding has led to the deaths of at least 24 people in the state of Karnataka and thousands have been stranded. Emergency workers are using boats to rescue people from their homes. Sir, from last 15 days continuous raining is there. Heavy raining is from last three days, continuous rain. Now we are having nearly four, eight blocks we are having. 603 flats were there. Nearly 3,000 people we are living here. In other parts of Bengaluru, many can't get into their homes. We can't go inside the house and there's too much water in front of it. All the groceries are inside and we've been outside the house since last night. Many people are concerned there could be more flooding as several lakes are overflowing. It's been more than 12 years since the lake became full and this is the first time it's been overloaded and the drains have become blocked. Now water is overflowing and it has rained very heavily too. The states of Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Puducherry are also badly affected. Dozens of people, including rescue workers, have died in Andhra Pradesh, where the Indian Air Force is airlifting people to safety. Many parts of southern India are experiencing excessive rainfall. Environmentalists say unpredictable and extreme weather across South Asia is being driven by climate change and made worse by deforestation, the construction of dams and excessive development. While the rain has eased in the worst affected state, Andhra Pradesh, people in Tamil Nadu are preparing for more heavy downpours. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.